welcome to its topic in this video i am going to discuss the practical questions of class 9 computer science so in for class 9 computer science you will require the chapter 6 8 and 9 for practical in chapter 6 it is msx is database and chapter 8 and 9 c programming so for chapter 6 you will have to create a table i have uh, given one question on the screen you can see that came uh, in 2021 means previous year here we have to create a table with the following fields the fields are id class section competition in competition we will have powerpoint flash movie making and programming won yes no prize first second third so this one we have to create let's see how we can do it do it first we will go to all programs then uh, Microsoft Office and here Office Access 2007 or 10 whatever installed in your school computer and here we'll get a blank database option we'll click here after clicking blank database we can change the name give uh, your name suppose I'm giving here the sample then click on create after creating this uh, by default datasheet view will open so you click on view after clicking on view change to design view now here it is asking the table name now see the question whether the table name is given or not as the table name is not given here so we'll write the student <coughs> so our first field is id then name so first we'll write id only it's already id so we can keep it is auto number only then we'll have name so we'll write name and data type we will select as text then the third class section so we'll write class then next one we'll write section class we can keep uh, number then we have competition In competition, we'll have options as PowerPoint, Flash, Movie Making, and Programming. So we'll click here and choose the Lookup Wizard. And here, select I will type in the value. So next, and here in column one, you type the name like PowerPoint. Then next will be uh, Flash, Movie Making. then uh, programming so these are now next then finish and the next field is word and here our data type will be yes no and price in price we'll again take lookup wizard and here i will type then in column one we'll write first then second then third so we'll click next then finish now here asking us to also add suitable five suitable records for entering record again we'll click on view and click on data sheet view and we'll save the table after saving this will appear as id is auto number so it will come automatically we'll write the name suppose rahul then class 9 section a competition we can choose from here powerpoint own if i tick that means he own then price suppose it is passed then neha class 9 sec oh sorry class 9 section b suppose competition is powerpoint not a uh, programming and she didn't own so we will not take uh, not tick here in own 
and price as she didn't own so she will not have any price now the next one you can write Aryan or any name whatever you like suppose class 8 then section A competition movie making and own will suppose he owned the competition and price second so this way we can enter data now let's move to C programming how we can uh, do C programming in uh, for practical examination I'm going to do it here by using code block you can also do it by using turbo C or any online compiler so whatever available in your computer you can do there and these two questions came in 2022 write a C program to find the area of a circle so how we can do this first let close this MS Access now for doing C programming we'll open code block so code block uh, the first uh, home screen or the dashboard will be like that and here you will get this button new file click here then click on empty file after that you will get see here plain text on the touch bar click there and from there you select C C++ now first here you will write the header file which is include then std io.h after std io.h you will write int main then we will need variable as we have to find out the area of a circle suppose the radius will enter by the user uh, I think it's small for you because the text size is too small now see here mm, we have to declare the variable so we will write here int will not in take integer because uh, the pi value is 3.14 so we will take here float float will take the number is radius and area and the value of area is 0, uh, 0 0.0 now we'll take the value of r from the user so print f print f will write here enter the radius then we'll go to next line semicolon the next line here we'll write scan f then the variable name of the first percentage d percentage f because we are taking floating value after that comma and percentage f should be within uh, inverted comma then comma and and symbol after that the variable name means r we are storing the value in radius for r variable now we will write the formula for calculating the area so area equal 3.14 this is the value of pi into it is r square so we will multiply r two times r into r then semicolon now we have to display the result so again print f so print f here we will write area equal percentage f and percentage f should be in within inverted comma percentage f and will give comma and the variable name where the value of f is stored it is stored in area so we will write area now semicolon as our main function is integer so we will have to return some value so we will write return 0 then semicolon now after that you will save the file you will click here and you will give a name suppose area and save then you will click here build and run so asking me to enter the radius suppose it is 7 so the area is 153.86 so this way we can find out the area of a circle now our next program write a C program to accept the principal rate of interest and time as input and display the simple interest 
so we'll take again new file and change the languages C C plus plus. Now here first we will write the header file, so include stdio.h as uh, we have to find out the simple entries, so we will need uh, here 4 variable, int main, it is the main function, then curly bracket, here we will declare the variable, first integer, we can take float only, float for principal p for time t or rate r and for simple interest s i <clears throat> now we'll have to take the principal time and rate so we'll write printf enter principal So here we'll write slash n then semicolon. Here scan f and we'll write here percentage f. Then we'll store it in here and person uh, in place of p then semicolon. And these two line will repeat for time and rate also. So copy it and we'll paste it two more times. Now in place of principal, we'll write here rate and here we'll change the variable to r and again this line will change it to time and we'll change the value to t and in uh, number 11th line we'll calculate uh, the simple interest so si equal sorry si equal P into R into T bracket close divide by 100 semicolon now we have to display the simple interest so print F here we'll write simple interest equal percentage percentage f then quotation close comma s i this is the variable which value going to be displayed instead of percentage f then semicolon and next line will write return when our program going to finish we will have to write return 0 now first we will have to save the program so click on save give a name to the file suppose simple interest save now run and build this option so asking me to enter the simple interest suppose 1000 and rate suppose it is 10 and time suppose 5 year now the simple interest is 500 rupee so I think you have understood how it work and for RL, you will learn the short answers from the chapter 6, 8 and 9. Means which chapters are practical related from these chapters, you will learn the small answers like uh, what is C program, who develops C, what is primary key, what is foreign key, what is variable, like these questions, you will learn for practical examination. If you have any confusion, you can write in comment section, I will surely try to help you. Thank you for watching, see you in a new video, till then take care and bye.